Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, I'm going over um, pharmaceutical validation. So the purpose of this video is to help fresh graduates from biomedical engineering, chemical engineering, pharmaceutical sciences, um, quality assurance, regulatory affairs as well, biopharma or biomedical engineering as well so uh, chemical engineers as well so if you belong to these master degree where you have learned pharmaceutical technology pharmaceutical doses form pharmaceutical process pharmaceutical engineering um, you can start as a validation associate for uh, there are several uh, companies who are supporting validation operation at many different pharmaceutical and biopharmaceutical clients so we can definitely get a startup position in these consulting projects and help uh, life science world so i'll go over different type of validation and you can select the one which you feel most interest try gain more knowledge and see if you can find start level positions and that's how you can land up in a validation role so pharmaceutical validation there are different type of validation first process validation second cleaning validation equipment validation utility validation computer system validation so validation first of all is um, it's the process of or like it's a documenting documented evidence or support um, or assurance that a process a facility a utility a personal a computer is working as per its desired um, or predefined specification or predefined requirement means it's a assurance that what a process a equipment a personal a computer supposed to do it should do as intended okay so let's explore um process validation so as you see on the screen i put a process bio bio manufacturing process so for process validation engineers they are responsible to validate a process let's say we researched a new molecule now that molecule grow from small scale laboratories to a pilot plant from the pilot plant it goes into um technology transfer phase and then comes to a bigger plant where you are we are manufacturing in 50000 or 50k uh, bioreactor huge so process validation and process validation engineers they support in validating a process that from step a to step x whatever step we are performing we have performed some in process checks and those checks support that our process is competent enough in producing quality product on consistent basis so this is how um a process validation works and process engineer or um, process validation engineers process validation associate has the responsibility to execute in this fashion um i just wrote, no, wrote down that being a process validation engineer you are responsible to writing protocol you are responsible for writing reports you go on shop floor and take in process samples continuous process verification now cleaning validation so in cleaning validation i mentioned swab sample rinse sample sample and visual inspection you can see this person is doing a swab sampling of a cleaned surface so you may know that in pharmaceutical or biotech industries we use various bioreactors we use blending uh, for blender for blending we used uh, granulator we used compressor um, uh, centrifuge small vessels big vessels so these all are made up of some some type of material such as stainless steel who are compatible with our product so once you process your product you clean them sometime there is a manual process sometime there is a automated process so automated process are called as cip manual process are called as manual cleaning process like cleaning out of place 
where you you are um, dismantling equipment and taking it out and doing cleaning outside the place of equipment now after cleaning you do a visual inspection see whether there is a previous process product residue are there any black particle white particle any resins residue cleaning agent water clogged then you take rinse sample to see and do the chemical analysis so chemical analysis is performed by swab and rinse sample so cleaning validation engineer is responsible for establishing a cleaning process um deciding what type of cleaning agent need to be used uh, whether cleaning in place is required cleaning out of place is required um cycle time and any other engineering challenges like let's say you your pipeline has a hold or loop where water is getting accumulated so at that spot um cleaning validation engineer will remove those um, spot and make sure that there is no water ba backlog water clogged or the biofilm generations so this is your uh, role as a cleaning validation engineer now equipment validation so equip in industry we use different type of equipments such as autoclave dhs dry heat sterilizer um sometimes we use sip sterilization in place of big reactors other equipments are data no not data um filter integrity test um lyophilizers so these are the equipment that need to be validated uh in order to ensure that they are performing effectively like or like autoclave it says it will give heat for uh, 25 minutes and maintain a temperature of 121 to 123 through a steam so you have to spread you see th this is a da data logger and these are the um, thermocouples so these are the temperature sensing so you in expose them in the entire chamber and see what what are the different places and how the temperature is looking like inside the autoclave and you can record the temperature of the entire cycle so that you remain assured that yes uh, everything is running fine we have um, a good picture of our autoclave so equipment validation involve temperature mapping sip autoclave dhs test we perform in um, equipment validations are endotoxin bioverder now another type of validation is utility validation for running a manufacturing facility you need water you need air you need compressed air you need um brines like hot water cold water chilled water so these are uh, steam and some solvents uh, wfi water um, other different type of waters so these are utility example hvac heating ventilation air condition plumbing drainage system gas system sanitization water for pharmaceutical fire so these all are support services and these also need to be validated whether hvac system is saying that it will maintain the temperature of our manufacturing facility for uh, like less always less than 25 degree so let's say now outside it's summer so it's a test for our hvac system that how competent it is in consistently maintaining that temperature so we do check the efficiency of our system through different process our hvac system won't allow outside dust air coming into our facility so we check by leaking whether there is a leak in the facility so if you want to become a utility validation you should be a part of this and you should know um some type of mechanical engineering because it's more towards mechanics um so learning about systems learning about hvac drainage water systems lot about pipe p p and id diagrams and all uh last one is for computer system validation this is very important nowadays so even 
even if you are a pharmaceutical person even you have experience in pharmaceutical uh, industry even if you have a masters degree in biomedical or chemical engineering you can become computer system validation because computer system validation guy need to have an understanding of um how life science industry work on the concepts like quality assurance concept uh, regulatory affairs concept these are the conceptual understanding a computer validation engineer should have because they are the person who design our software they are the person who validate them so it's a very good field to start with and you can explore different horizons lot of scope in this industry because now every company is switching from manual to automated system now i would like to go over the requirements who can become validation engineer validation engineer ms chemical engineering person ms pharmaceuticals ms biomedical engineering any bs degree guy as well and experience requirement is like sometimes 0 to 3 you just need to find the right opportunity now in the end i am going over the leading consulting companies out there in the market you can definitely find an opportunity with these companies they are supporting for example hide engineering validant icq dps engineering well source and there are so many other these consulting companies have expertise um, on their own like hide engineering is well known in cleaning validation validant and well source are good in validation of equipment dps is expert in facility qualification dps is excellent in um, cleaning validation as well icq is known for equipment commissioning and qualification so you can develop a network go on linkedin try find people who are working in these companies S- add them to your network then start reach out to them because sometime they have very start level positions like for me even i was working as um, when i started back in india i i was a swab and rinse sampler that's the very best basic level job you just need to have an understanding of how to gown you know different type of equipments you know the safety features you know how swab sampling is done and you undergo a process of qualification you qualify yourself then only you become eligible to do swab and rinse sampling so there are multiple opportunities in these big companies they sometimes just seek a person who has a basic understanding or a conceptual understanding so try reach out to different people on linkedin or wherever you meet um and see if they can help you start your career in validation so i wish you all the good luck and please message me if you need any suggestion i'll continue make more videos on how to land a start level role i'm coming up with more um few more videos in few times thank you so much good luck